Hey guys, we're going to do a DIY watch replacement and cleaning for my Scoggin. Uh, I had this classic Scoggin for over probably 10 years now. I had it since, um, well anyway, it's a pretty old watch. I change out the battery every two and a half years or so to three years. So this is how I do it. You basically need a pair of tweezers and you need also a pair of um, precision screwdrivers, but this is the flathead one. The largest one will be fine as long as it's a nice thin edge. You will find the little notch that opens the canopy or the back case, back casing of the Skagon watch in the upper, where it's probably like one o'clock or two o'clock uh, position in the back of it. And you just slide it underneath and do a little wiggle and it basically pops off. Uh, it doesn't take too much pressure and you just do a slight twist and then it basically just pops off by itself. Uh, the gaskets and stuff should be fine. This is again, you know, a pretty old watch and you know, it's lasted that long But do take note that, you know, if see if there's any other stuff we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it later to take out the watch battery just take the player uh, uh, Tweezers and basically just um, slightly pick at it on the side and it would just come right out. It's not really hard at all see the battery watch battery the that for this classic Skagen titanium is a SR920SW. Oops. It's really hard to read. This one's a Maxell one. I'm, I'm just going to order this exact same Maxell one off online or somewhere. Uh, but if you need to get Energizer one, it's actually a 371 number battery. You get So what I do now is I do usually do a cleaning. I get some rubbing alcohol, 50% rubbing alcohol. You could use whatever percent you want. But I basically put a little alcohol on the cap and I basically dab it along the edges where uh, the metal contacts are. I try not to, I try to um, just soak uh, any uh, old skin or or uh, human oils or whatever else, all that dirt. I just basically just soak it a little with a little bit of alcohol. You have to be very careful not to, now this is not exactly um, drenched with alcohol. It's just moist with alcohol, so it doesn't leak into the watch so you, you don't flood your watch with alcohol that's a scary thing just go ahead and you know dab a light light bead around it so that you could basically have it work its way cutting the grease and then you slowly use it to um to rub the grease and dirt off of the of the watch so as soon as we do that that should be cool um as you can see i'm just gonna work my way around it Just be really careful, just, you know, it just takes about a minute to do, so I'm just fast forwarding through this. And after a few rounds of that, basically all that dirt is pretty much off of the thing. I used to clean a dry side of the Q-tip to actually just you know, rub off any of the remaining ones. But as you can see, most of that dirt from two years or three years is still accumulates on the, on the crevices of it. So there you go. Nice and clean. Now with the semi-damp um, or very, actually pretty much dry now, uh, alcohol wipe, just go along the edges of the of the the back casing so you could get any other residue off you don't want you want to make sure it's nice and clean when it goes back on when you clip it back on so just do a quick cleaning on you know the seal and stuff it's not going to do much of anything um, I basically do this every three years so no big deal but long story short just dry it again and just let it sit as soon as you get your replacement battery then you can just put it all back together it doesn't take much this all takes about probably less than five, 10 minutes if you have your battery and tools and your screwdriver and your tweezers with you, it should be pretty quick. As you can see, nice and dirty, nice and cleany. I mean, oh, it's clean, that's what I meant. Uh, let's put this stuff back. So I ordered up another battery, put it in. Again, this is a, three one, a 371 battery, or if you go to um, Maxell, it's basically the SR 920 SW, but a lot of them get replaced now. So you just basically use your tweezers, put it back where it's top, the letters are facing on the top, 
and take note of that notch. That notch goes over the um, the dial. So just make sure you line the n dial with that notch, and it goes back to exactly at like what about two o'clock or so. Just place it right over it. And make sure your everything is clean around it, and you just put light pressure. Make sure everything is aligned before you just push, you know, squeeze it in, and it pops right in. So it's pretty straightforward and simple. It's not hard at all. And boop, there it goes. So that's it. That's it of DIYing this thing and doing a quick cleaning. And you do this every three years or so with the watch battery. But this is our classic Skagen. Thanks for watching, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please uh, stay tuned for more stuff and DIYs. Uh, please like and subscribe.